Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I probably should have done this video a few weeks ago, um, but considering that the first day of fall just passed, um, I figured it was the perfect time to introduce my fall line of candles. For those of you who don't know me, I love this time of year. I love football, you know, hanging out with friends on the Sundays. I love all of the colors of fall and I am obsessed with pumpkin spice. I mean, who isn't? <laughs> I know you probably hear that a lot, right? So I wanted to incorporate um, pumpkin into a lot of my candles, but I also didn't want to go overboard and I wanted to give like a variety. So without further ado, so this year um, I have, well, this is actually one I've always had. So this is forever fall. Um, it actually smells like autumn breeze. Um, oh yeah, and if you didn't see, if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, I actually have a new size candle. So I just came out with 20 ounce candles. So this is actually my 20 ounce size, which I know that probably doesn't look like that on the, on the, on the camera, but, <laughs> um, okay. So this one, yeah, it's like the perfect autumn day. So when you wake up and say like, it's like super chilly in the morning, um, and you're having like that cup of coffee and you're having that breeze come in the windows, that's exactly what it smells like. So it's got that crisp autumn smell to it. <sighs> perfect. I love this one. Um, this has actually been, so I've been making candles for a few years. Um, so I've always actually made this one during the fall season and it's um, a really good seller. And I mean, I absolutely love this one. So, all right. We have, this is Crisp Cranberry. Um, so this one actually, I've made this last year, um, not thinking that it was gonna do that great, um, but it actually sold pretty pretty well. <laughs> um, this one has just the smell of sugared cranberries. It's like winter frost meets cranberries meets velvet plum. <laughs> so smells really really good um, I would definitely like this one could definitely burn in the background it's not overpowering um, and it's something that is gonna make your house smell like fall but maybe isn't that pumpkin smell that some people do like I mean I feel like pumpkins like a hit or miss like some people love pumpkin and some people are like oh my gosh I don't want pumpkin in my house so this is like an alternative to having a fall candle but maybe not having that pumpkin smell okay so the next two are newbies this year so I knew that I needed some variety. Um, and one of the things, I actually did a poll um, on Instagram and I said, what is the number one thing that you think of besides pumpkin when it comes to fall? And a lot of people said apple. So like apple pie or um, bobbing for apples, apple crisp, something like that. So I actually um, decided to go with two apple candles this year. And this one is apple crumb cake. It has a caramel apple um, smell to it. So it reminds me if you take a, an apple pie and were to drizzle like caramel over top of it and warm it up and then have it like a little bit of like whipped cream on top, it's, that's what it smells like. All that mixed into a candle. So caramel apple pie with a little bit of like, you do like a vanilla. This one actually um, has been selling has, uh, has almost sold out. Like this is my, probably my last candle of this one. So I will be making new batches of these. Um, but yes, I'm, I'm very happy with the way these ones came out this year. All right, next. <laughs> so this is apple cinnamon rolls. Um, so if you think of those, like just think of like the perfect fall morning, right? So you have a cup of coffee and then cinnamon rolls, right? And just like kind of like Christmas morning type thing. Um, so that's what it smells like, but put in apple cinnamon and ice, like that icing. Oh my God, the icing is so good. You know what I'm talking about. You know, you, you can't tell me you've never had a cinnamon roll. <sighs> so that is what that one is. <laughs> this is a newbie this year. Um, it has been selling really well and I probably will definitely be making this next year as well. I, um, love both of these apple ones because they absolutely fill the room. Definitely. And they're not overpowering and it gives like, it's like they have that warm feeling, like that warm homey feeling when you walk inside. Um, like your mom's like baking like an apple pie or like maybe your grandma. Um, so that's kind of what that smells like. Oh gosh, that smells so good. Okay. All right. So the next one is actually, I, I've been, same thing with Forever Fall. I've been making Harvest Festival 
for a few years now. Um, this one is, so if you think about when you go, see, not right now with COVID, but back when we could still go to like farmer's markets, um, especially during the fall season with all those smells that come together, or if you like farmer's market, or if you went on like a hayride. Um, so it has like warm vanilla, clove, it has sandalwood in it, um, it has that autumn breeze. Um, so like leaves, like autumn leaves. So this one reminds me of, so back where I'm from, we have this haunted hayride and even though it's haunted and obviously it's for Halloween, it totally reminds me of fall. Um, I love going on hayrides. I, yeah, hayrides. Um, so I definitely wanted to incorporate that into my fall line. So you will see that a lot of these scents, um, I guess, are some of my favorites, basically. Um, <laughs> I try to make ones that I absolutely love. So this way, it's not hard for me to sell them because I love them. Um, so none of my candles are, you know, ones that I would never like burn in my own house, basically. Okay, so this last one I'm super proud of. Um, this one I came up with on a whim. Um, I had a bunch of scents in front of me and I was, I just was like, okay, I want to create a new scent, but I don't, I want it to be pumpkin, but I don't want it to be overbearing pumpkin and boring, like just pumpkin spice type thing. So this one is called pumpkin picking and it is a mixture of like pumpkin pie meets, I would say like harvest festival, right? So it has a little bit of sweet, cinnamon in it. It has um, a little bit of autumn breeze. It has that pumpkin pie smell. It's If you went to a pumpkin patch, this is what it would smell like. Um, and I'm super proud of this one because this is literally my last pumpkin patch or pumpkin picking. I'm sorry, my last pumpkin picking because I have completely sold out of these. So I need to make another batch. Um, and I'm very, very, very proud and excited about this one. I, this is definitely going to be like made next year. Um, and I, like I said, it's, it's, it's sold out. So I'm excited. So if you don't follow me on my social media, um, that is where you'll find my latest candle scents that I have um, released. I, you also can follow me on my website, cleatoncandleco.com. That is where you will find um, all of my collections. And I also tend to have specialty candles, which are ones that are basically like limited time only. So um, I do have ones that are coming out that um, are more of like, I would say my herb collection. So it's gonna be like sage and eucalyptus and a little bit of lavender and chamomile. Um, so I have made those and made test batches and I absolutely love those. So those will be up on the website shortly. Um, so you can check those out, but make sure you follow me on all of my social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, um, Snapchat, <laughs> all of the major social media platforms. And I love answering your questions, especially on these videos. So if you have any questions about how I came up with my scents or like what formulas I used or where I got my scents, please comment down below. I answer all of my comments and I'm just, I'm here to help. Um, I want people to be able to burn a candle in their home that they, either one, they made themselves and they can be super proud of, or two, maybe you buy one of mine and you know that it's non-toxic and it's um, all natural and it's not gonna give you those bad toxins in your home. I know that none of those headaches. But I'm so thankful for everyone that has been watching my videos and has been subscribing to my channel. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.